Good morning, everybody. AmpRepairGuy.com and also now HarbachElectronics.com. So we have another Kenwood TL922A. Customer purchased this from someone. The guy said it worked and has some issues. So I'm going to go through it, do all the modifications. It's pretty much stock, but needs a band switch. So show the back of it. I probably put it into an open. The previous owner, as you can see, the contact is fried. That adds padding capacitance for 80 meters. It's kind of hard to see, but as you can see right there. It's gone. Let me... And the edge of the wafer is toast, also. So grids have not been grounded. Self bias mod has not been done. Needs a Zener diode. I'll change the electrolytic cap. Put a series glitch resistor in to the 10 meter modification. And uh, I'll be back when it's all done. Okay, so this is getting a brand new set of Pentalab tubes, also. Awesome customer service there, awesome company. My, my customers get the dealer price when they send an amplifier in for repair. And uh, this uh, this came with a set of iMac tubes, but they both were gassy. They started pulling current right around 5 kV between the uh, anode and the grid, so they had to be replaced. So I'm going to get to work, and I will see you guys in a bit. Stay tuned. And please like, share, and subscribe. 73. Okay, so I am back with the Kenwood TL922A. Everything has been repaired and modified. Show you everything I did real quick. Everything I always do. Leave no stone unturned. So I added the strap over here. Series glitch resistor, meter protection diode, zip tied the wiring. I'll flip it over and I'll show you the bottom. See you in a second. Okay, so here's the bottom. Get my pointer here. Grounded the grids, the self bias modification, cleaned this relay over here with deoxy gold. Cleaned the rotary switches with deoxy gold, even though it's brand new. I clean it because they put this goop on there and you know stop the silver from tarnishing, but dust and hair or whatever can get stuck to it which would inhibit the connection. So that's the brand new Multitech rotary switch from Multitech Industries. Did the 10 meter modification. It's all set. Change the electrolytic, change the bias, Zener diode, check the SO239 connectors. Also clean this relay over here and added the strap over here. So this thing is good to go. I did a, a, an Ameritron AL811 the day before yesterday. I just haven't posted the video yet. I need to post that. And yesterday I was working on the Harbox stuff, unboxing stuff, and more stuff's on the way. And um, I worked on the protection board for that 160 through 15 meter amp also. So I've just been super busy here, but um, I have another amp to ship today. So. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you need an amplifier repaired, please feel free to give me a call, and I'm going to get the Harbach site up and going as soon as possible, hopefully within a couple weeks. A lot more stuff to um, come on the site. I'm going to be adding more stuff. So I'm going to try to make it a one-stop shop and um, add more hard-to-find components. So again, thank you for watching. 203 892-4119 ampreparguide.com and once again please like share and subscribe okay, I want to show one more thing I forgot to show the band switch looks like this guy got it really hot 
it's like a bluish color and I'll show you the not tarnish and you can see the contact see how the wafer portion actually it's hard to see you can see it's just blown apart see the antimeter contact is gone and the wafer is just there's a huge chunk missing the wafer is gone damaged it's hard to see because it's underneath there but see the contact for 80 is gone so customer said the guy who bought it from said he used on 80 a lot so showing the damage to all you guys plus so the customer can see it and show the guy who he bought it from. Okay, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. 73.